Hello, this is a pathology specimen of the large bowel and it shows two pathologies. First of all, we can see this very obviously abnormal area of intersusception where one part of the bowel has telescoped into another. The other interesting pathology here is that there are the presence of several polyps. Let's take a closer look. We can see over here there is a very large polyp arising from the mucosal surface and another polyp here and in fact there is also a sessile polyp right at the leading edge of the area of intersusception. This may have provided the mechanical traction or the reason for the intersusception in the first place. And here is yet another polyp and another one here. So this patient has got multiple polyps when we look at the side view, we are actually able to appreciate that this is a pedunculated polyp, whereas this is a sessile polyp. In other words, there is no stalk. Intersusception may pose a danger to this patient because of intestinal obstruction, and this may also give rise to ischemia and marked congestion and eventually cause hemorrhagic infarction and even perforation of the colon with acute abdomen and peritonitis. Here is a very similar case of large bowel with multiple polyps and at the same time there is an area of intersusception and you can see that this is quite abnormal because the color of the bowel wall here is darker and rather dusky in comparison to the viable uh, bowel mucosa and hence we are worried that there may already be impending hemorrhagic infarction. Within the mesentery, which is compressed and pulled into this area of intersusception, we can also see some congested blood vessels. And again here, right at the part of the intersusceptum, we can see a pedunculated polyp. So there must be some form of intervention to reduce the intersuscepted area. If the bowel wall is still viable, then the patient may not require an excision. However, if the wall appears to be dusky and perhaps potentially necrotic or infarcted, then a segmental resection may be required. In summary, we are looking at two examples of similar cases where we can see both the cause and the effect of the pathology. Uh, the cause being the presence of several polyps which can be sessile or pedunculated in both instances and the effects being that of intersusception and both are capable of causing clinical signs and symptoms the polyps potentially GI bleeding and also for intersusception intestinal obstruction and even possibly infarction with perforation and acute abdomen